Okay, so we finally export uh, the file to the cat. If we go for, uh, to the temp file and click on the view cube, we see that we have the geometry um, in AutoCAD. Then we can just copy and paste it to the last week assignment and just uh, paste it somewhere. We see that it's much, much too small. So let's scale it from the Let's see that uh, why we uh, place uh, place it on the last week assignment. We did it because uh, now we will be using uh, uh, all of the layers which we created uh, in last week, and it will be much faster if you just do it like that than to create it uh, all the dimensions and so on one more time from the scratch. Uh, but uh, let's go to the layout and let's see if we can uh, easily uh, prepare the, the view and the, 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 the views uh, for the presentation. And, uh, okay. Let's, uh, and what is the scale? Let's do it uh, 1 to uh, 10, which will be 1 to uh, 100, because uh, I was uh, drawing it in centimeters. So this will be the top view. Change it to the left side. To one hundred. Yes, I'm going to. It's not one hundred. So it's drawing key in ten centimeters. This is the view, and the last view. Maybe let's make a uh, ten. So let's click here and make a conceptual and let's make not let but uh, SW is geometrical. And this one, of course, don't have to be in the scale because it's somehow free to view. Uh, here on the bottom, the this can be up here. We have uh, previews of our first version. Let's uh, move it up. And uh, you should have uh, three versions uh, of the same structure. So this should be more dense uh, structure, the roof, and there should be more columns. But generally, this is how the, your output should look like. I will just maybe uh, make uh, it would be super nice if you change the uh, layers to differentiate uh, the uh, the the line weights and uh, let's see how it can plot uh, let's Review. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fine. Um, 